Smoke me! No chemicals or preservatives, just 100% honest to goodness hickory smoke meat. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Boy, some chicken wings have really hit the spot. You ain't got no better food like some chicken wings, some baby back ribs, some fries or something? Look at that, just two guys talking, am I right? He's just talking. Hey, howdy, hey. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the pit for another delightful episode. Delightful. Sorry, I had a burp stuck in my throat. That's all right. I like it. I'm I'm on board, and I, I think the I pause hit, made it better. Yeah, I hit the hard pause there. Um, oh, no, that's great. Another delightful episode of the number one undisputed podcast Heavyweight Indeed. champion of the Western United States. Still undisputed. Come at us. Come at us, please. So we know people still listen to this. <laughs> Just kidding. You're all very kind. I was going to say, we've got our loyal following. That yeah. We get a comment comment on, on YouTube or uh, an Instagram message from... From our faithful following every once in a while. I know they're listening. Indeed. Thanks, you guys. Yep. Uh, John, what's been going on, man? Oh, my gosh. Um, it feels like life went from, like, a calm, leisurely, like... <laughs> summer. <laughs> yeah, summer with, like, woke up when you wanted to... Did some chores, sent the kids outside. Like, really, you're just able to relax. Mm -hmm. To being in the fast lane, doing 100 miles an hour with some idiot behind you, like, (laughs) right on your bumper, flashing the lights, saying, go faster, go faster. That was a perfect analogy for how I felt (laughs) the last few weeks. It's good. I was telling John earlier, like, I... I love my family, and we're busy as heck with football and all kinds of things. And for the most part, I really like my job, but I just want to just quit everything for a couple days and just (laughs) breathe. But it's good. It's busy. Yeah. Yeah, it really is busy. Well, and so my my new company has started to take off. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know, I went from working on it, you know, 20 or 30 hours, just kind of like pushing things along to in the office at least 40 hours a week. Mm. Haley started what was supposed to be like a quarter time job mm-hmm. that is now a true hat, like part time job. She does 20 hours a week. Nice. Somebody quit and they're like, hey, you want some more hours? Nice. Um, all of the kids are in school all day long. And then you add on like extracurriculars and. Mm-hmm. Man, you just like, you know how it is. I mean, Whitney yeah, did dude. the same thing. She started a yep, job. She you just guys started from... working, and it is go go go. Like, and I find myself like, almost like mad. Like, why do I have to do this? And then I'm like, <laughs> well, frick, she's been doing this by herself forever, and now I'm like, picking up your slack. It's like, no, buddy, that's not how it works. But anyway, I don't know. It's been a, it's been a very. Very good learning experience, we'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, continue to reaffirm the more I the more I support, the more I know I don't want her job. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no kidding, so, dude. Don't know how you do more, it. More power to them. Ladies, you are incredible. Nope. Um, have you cooked anything recently? I was just thinking about that. And because everything is so crazy, it's like a whirlwind. But um, I did have, (coughs) excuse me, Um, we had some wings. Oh. I think maybe we talked about this. Mm. Um, Wings with the ranch. I think we we did talk about the ranch. We talked about that, yeah. I did that. Um, I did another round of party ribs. Uh I'm like determined to get those right, and I still... What do you like about it? They were much better. I just, I think it's me. Like, I think I just need to practice making them. That mm. they never seem to be as tender as I expect them to be. Right. 
So well, but I think that kind of comes with it. It's more like a grilled rib, right? Than a yeah. low and slow one. I don't know. That's what I tell myself. So yeah, that I feel better about a little. So they were much minutes. better. I'm still practicing on those. Like I, it's just so nice to be able to have ribs in a couple of hours. Yeah, it is so nice that I refuse to give up on the idea. Yeah, heck so yeah. um. Dude, I think speaking that's... of a couple of, the, a couple of hours, I got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Yeah. Threw them in some Olive Garden dressing yep. to marinade. Oh, my gosh, dude. It was some of the most, like, and then cooked them on the Weber. So, okay. I mean, some of the best chicken I've had forever. I ate it. I mean, we had it for Sunday dinner, and then we went and put it in a, I can't remember if it was a pasta... I think it was a pasta the next day, but man, it was so good. Yeah. Big fan. So I'm normally a cook it on the on the Weber for my chicken thighs. Mm-hmm. And like I always do the frozen thighs from Costco that come in the bag. Oh yeah. That you just cook from frozen. Mm-hmm. I put them on the on the Traeger last time. Okay. It it was some of the juiciest, most Tender meat I've ever had in my life. Really? Do you just put them on frozen? Straight yeah, out of the bag? Put them on frozen. Um, once they start to deglaze a little bit, I hit them with seasoning. Okay. Um, and as I flip them the first couple of times, I hit them with a little more seasoning. Just this stuff's falling off of them, obviously. Uh-huh. Um, but that's it. And I like I ran them hot and fast. Like it, I think it was 375 is what I had my trigger set at. Okay. It was freaking delicious. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be willing to try that. I love chicken thighs, dude. Dude, like, they're... It's where it's at. It is, they're so much more flavorful, I think. I mean, there's nothing wrong with chicken breasts, and I like those too, but I've been on this thigh kick, and it is... It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I fell for this <laughs> trap last time. That's I don't, my I don't know what you're talking about, That's Mike. My bad. John, what are we talking about this week? Uh, we're talking about dips. I know. Let's get on this before we get distracted yep. again. Dip. When, all I can think of is the song that's on TikTok right now. The I put my hands up on my hip. Oh, yeah, when know. you dip, I say. I don't know. Huh. There's something about hips and dips. and. I will now look it up. So, well, not right this second, yeah. but later. Trust me, you're not missing anything. All right. Cool. Uh, um, barbecue dips or just dips in general? I think dips in general. I mean, it's, it is such a wide array of things that you can do. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it, it'll be fun. So we'll see where yeah. it goes. I, I definitely like think there are things that you can smoke as dips. Sure. And elevate, um, recipes with a smoke dip, but, yeah. um, there's also nothing wrong with, I was thinking about this before, like. The most basic dip you can like come up with, mm-hmm. Frito bean dip. Yeah, dude. I was like, just thinking that. Like there is, there is something about being on a road trip, <laughs> hitting a gas station, and buying one of those dinky little, little cans pop can. with the pop yeah, top dude. of a uh, of Frito bean dip. See, that reminds me of and every just cruising down the road. Every party, slumber party we had as like uh, middle schoolers. Like it seems like everybody, well, somebody would bring some Frito bean dip, and we would just. Uh. I mean, it's the after effects are terrible. Like <laughs> yeah. that is where the like would not recommend. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, don't do it on a first date. Don't do it with your in laws. <laughs> Do this with do How this with your go buddies on the, uh, on the road trip. Then you just do it with your, <laughs> do it with your family. Do it with your buddies. Do it with the people that have no choice but to love you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's there, awesome. And you know how this is. Yeah. You have certain friends that like they're in it for the long haul. Like yep. whether they like it or not, there's nothing they can do at this point <laughs> yep. to break the friendship. They have they're full in. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, for sure. So, those are the people you eat bean dip with, and nobody else, unless you're 
in a very well ventilated area. <laughs> Listen, guys, be a bean dip friend. Okay, that's the goal. Be a bean. Be a bean dip friend. I need to. I'm. I'm actually. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna add this to the list. I like it. Um. What? Because list? I. Because I am determined to. Uh, to get some t-shirts going. <laughs> be a bean dip kind of friend. Be a bean dip. Kind of friend. <laughs> I love that. And we've got the hey howdy. Hey howdy hey. Hey. Hit us up with any other stupid stuff we've said. I almost said something different. I've been spending too much time with high schoolers. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, everybody. This is a family show, Mike. Yes, it is. I apologize. So, I mean, I think that's like by far the most basic dip you can get. Mm-hmm. And then you can get into like some pretty fancy, you know. You've got your smoked quesos. No. Which, have you done smoked queso? You know, I tried it once. I think we've talked about this. I tried it once, hadn't cleaned my smoker. Mm-hmm. Had just done, I can't remember what I'd just done. Like a, a big cook, whether, I think it was either brisket or pulled pork. And then I just cranked my grill up to do queso mm. and it had grease all in the bottom. So you ended up with that sooty, bitter it was taste. It gross, yeah. It was not good. And I, honestly, I haven't tried it since. And I, it's my own fault, but... I tried it once and I just... It was so salty. Like, it just... It wasn't my yeah. jam. I need to give it another, yeah. another go. I mean, people love it. And I've had stuff that other people have made that I really like. But the one... I had a bad experience with it, so I really haven't committed yeah. to it. Yeah, Danny made some. Oh, okay. Um, forever ago that I, I tried, and it was... Hmm. I thought it was good. I liked it. Yeah, I'd be willing to give it a shot. So, um, I'm looking here at my list, and there... Because you have any that you wanted to talk about before well, I just start going down my list? No, I mean, not necessarily. These are not ones that I've done. Uh, but when I was researching for this, I came across some that I was like, oh, that sounds really good. You know how we've talked about swachos a lot? There's a loaded yeah. nacho that you can get at Beehive Grill <clears throat> that I really like. It's I'm like f- grilled chicken. I'm and, familiar. Yeah, super good. But as I was kind of re, I just was kind of looking up barbecue dips because my thoughts were, what could we do on the smoker? And that's one of the things that came up like, all the delicious fixins that you put on those nachos to make a little dip out of that and just have people I mean Ooh. I'm I'm kinda into it. Like this one right here just called a barbecue chicken dip. And that's all it is yeah. is barbecue chicken and some southwest types of flavors and then it's just in a big cast iron skillet and you just yeah dip her in. Melt so. some melt some cheese on it. Yeah. I like Which that. Which I I really like that. I I like <coughs> I feel like a dip is a great party food. Like, oh, yeah. Bring a bag of chips. We got lots of dip, and, you know. Yeah. So, how uh, how do you feel about spinach artichoke? You know what? When it first kind of took the world by storm in the when was that? The early two thousands. I feel like. Yeah. Pretty big fan. It's not bad. I haven't honestly. I haven't had it for a long time. But, ha- Haley loves it. So. Yeah. That's that is a popular appetizer at the Hayden table. Okay. Um. But she also makes a really good one uh-huh. that I think those artichokes would carry smoke. Oh yeah, really probably. well. One thing I'm it'd... seeing in your notes too that I'd never thought about is adding bacon. To yeah, spinach artichoke dip, dude. That might ruin the vegetarianness of it. But <laughs> holy cow, can you imagine how much that would amp that up? Those flavors, I feel like that'd be really good. I support it. Yeah, yeah, um, but I'm not. I'm not ashamed, dude. I love spinach. Yeah. No, me too. Yeah. I uh, I hated everything green when I was growing up, but spinach is one of those things. I I like spinach. Mm. Spinach, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, all the things that like people like stereotypically hate that mm-hmm. are green. Like, man, that's where it's at. I that's love it. I'm, except for I can't do pickles. Well, that's because I don't like pickles. Pickles are disgusting. Okay. Well, they're weird. It's a rotten cucumber. Yeah. I like the way you think. Whitney loves them, doesn't she? No, she doesn't, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, that's one thing we agree on. Good for her. Yeah. That's what hey, I said. It's very Charlie, of you. Charlie will eat an entire jar of pickles sitting really? at the table. If we have yeah. hamburgers or something, uh-huh. like Haley will have a couple. Charlie will just like load his burger up hmm. with pickles. 
And then he'll sit there and like just go to town on the Ugh. on the rest of them. See, I'm not, never have been, and I don't think. I mean, I've tried. I I feel like your taste buds change as you grow up. You start to like yeah. things maybe you didn't like sure. as a kid. Not that I can't do pickles. Still can't. Pickles and mushrooms are the other one. Ooh, you like, I mushrooms, like mushrooms, don't you? I do like mushrooms. Yeah. I think mushrooms are a. It's a texture thing for See, me. And I think that's the pickles for me. Like <laughs> the crunchy, I just disgust me. But sometimes, like, I'll forget to ask for no pickles and I'll take the pickles off, but the juice remains. It's kind of tasty. No. Mm-mm. So, no. Nope. <laughs> Straight um, into the trash for John. Yeah. I like it. Not a fan. Okay. All right. Um, you know, this is one that I think maybe gets skipped a lot, but salsa. Dude. Smoked salsa. My brother makes a mean smoked salsa. He smokes everything beforehand and uh-huh. then mixes it. Yeah. Dude. So good. It yeah, is I good. S- I started but Haley makes a ton of oh, salsa. Oh yeah, you guys have year. a huge garden and stuff. Yeah. Huh? We didn't this year, so it's a little disappointing, but mm-hmm. no, we absolutely when she makes it, I will often like She'll be like in there prepping, cutting stuff up, and I'll steal half of it and go throw it on the smoker for a little mm. while. Hit it with some smoke and then put it in. Okay. And it. Big difference, huh? Yeah. See, I don't know that I've it ever carries. tried it side by side. I really like it, but I don't yeah. think I've ever tried no, it side no, no. by it, side. It carries a depth of flavor. Okay. So. I used to really enjoy, there was a salsa, a store bought, but it was like Chipotle. And black bean or something? I'm thinking it was like a Newman's Own type of deal. I can't remember what I... I started buying it maybe 10 years ago. But it was good. It was pretty tasty. Yeah. I was just fact checking myself before I angered the world. (laughs) Um, People get pretty, pretty excited about Chipotle, huh? Yeah, but Chipotle... It is a smoked jalapeno. Yeah, that's that, it. That's right? what it's that not flavor its own is. Thing. Yeah, it's not a chipotle pepper. It is not a combination of things. It is a smoked jalapeno. Is chipotle. So, um, so this is one that came up on my list that I I can see it as a dip, but I also don't know if I put it in dip. Would you put barbecue sauce in the dip category? Dude, this came up a lot when I was doing my research, too. And I don't know. I don't know that I would dip chips in. I See, that's kind of what I think. A oh. dip is something you just dip chips in, but maybe not. Maybe a dip is something you would dip little chicken nuggets in or something. You know? I don't know. Yeah. Because I'm seeing your Alabama white sauce. I think that would be a delicious, like, th- dipping sauce for, you know, chicken or something. But I don't know. I've thought about that. Mm-hmm. I've wondered about putting some, like, making Alabama white sauce uh-huh. and blending it with cream cheese. Oh. Interesting. So would you substitute the mayo for cream cheese? Uh-uh. Just mix it all in? Yeah, I think I would just mix it all in. Interesting. And then what would you eat with that? Just crackers. Chips? Crackers and chips. Maybe put some... Maybe make Alabama white sauce chicken dip and put chicken in it too. Oh, there you go. Throw a little but, shredded yeah. chicken in there. Oh. Dude, I could get down on that. Man, I love Alabama white sauce. It is. It's a awesome flavor. If you haven't tried it... Check it out. You can buy store-bought stuff, or it's really easy to make. But it's just mayo-based, and man, it elevates. I think it makes a chicken so much yeah. better. Mo Gibson's recipe is on AmazingRibs.com. Okay. And it, he is the father of Alabama white sauce. So, so good. I made uh, some that Malcolm Reed's recipe had when I made a pulled chicken sandwich. And Ooh. the chicken was fine. But the sauce was so good. Everybody, I made it for a family thing, and the whole family was just like, what is that sauce? That is for sure the best part. It's freaking delicious, so, man. You can't go wrong. It's really so, good. Um, yeah. All right. I, I think, oh, I've got two more on here, but I've been dominating the conversation. 
Do you, uh... No, I'm just... I'm enjoying it myself. Um, guacamole. Oh, yeah. We've kind of talked about salsa, but smoked guac. I love guac. I do, too. Smoked guac. I've never even thought about it. Smoke your avocados, bro. Yeah. It'll change your world. Have you done it before? Yes. Oh, man. Interesting. Yeah. And I'm allergic to avocados. Are you really? Yeah. Huh. You just send it anyway, huh? Throat starts to... (laughs) Starts to close up, tongues, lip get puffy. Like, oh wow! And John, I don't know that you should be eating avocados. There's, well, there's two different varieties of avocados that are prevalent, uh-huh. and I'm more allergic to one of them than the other. Okay, but you have no way of knowing what you're getting. Hmm. So it's a roll of the <laughs> dice every time, and sometimes I'm like sitting at the table, I'm like. Do you have to have like an EpiPen or do you just It's not that up? bad. Oh. Um, at least I've never let it get that bad. <laughs> I just go and grab a couple of Benadryl and throw them down and then I'm passed out on the couch. I can just see you at Chipotle just <laughs> pulling out the EpiPen and stabbing your thigh. Well, so the like fr- Dumb and Dumber when the, the guy's like, get my Ulsa. The first time it happened to me, it was pretty bad. Like... My lips doubled in size. My tongue was like, I was talking like this. Looked like Will Smith on hit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it was just like that. I was like, give me that Benadryl. And I took like three Benadryl. That's nuts. That was at like six o'clock. Uh-huh. And I went and sat down on the, sat down on the couch. Mm. I vaguely remember Haley like helping me walk to the bedroom after she had put Charlie to bed, like he was just a baby. Um, and I woke up at 10 a.m. the next day, had like almost no <laughs> recollection. Like I was, I was gone. Um, but yeah, I just yeah, rolled the dice and send it, man. Nice. I, That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Haley gets so mad at me when I do it. Um, mostly because there's always that chance that I'm just going to be like, <laughs> Honked out on Benadryl, but it's a uh, like I truly I'm just like Rick, send it. Like we'll see. Like if I die eating guacamole, I'm gonna die a happy man. Like I'm fine with it. Oh my gosh, that would be but, a wonderful death, right? Like <laughs> how much better does it get than eating chips and guac? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So huge fan of it. Yeah, but um, smoke I've never even thought of. I yeah. like that idea. Yeah. All right. The last one I had on my list um, is beer cheese dip. Okay. Which we've talked about Beehive. Uh Uh-huh. They've got an awesome beer cheese. Yeah. Um, Have you had... Well, you had to have had beer cheese in Wisconsin. We had a lot in Wisconsin, yeah. Yeah, it was a big thing. And it it was fine. I've never made it. I don't even know what's in it. I know beer and cheese, but... Yeah. Yeah, it was good. No, it's a. Uh, I've got a recipe here that it's nothing fancy, but it, oh yeah, you make a roux, use some beer, use some milk, melt the cheese in it, um, and then the seasoning. I, the one that I think freaks people out the most is there's some mustard in it, okay, and some Worcestershire sauce. I love that. Yeah, not much though, just a teaspoon. Yeah, it's not a ton. Yeah, interesting. So. Here's my thing, and I watched the um, the Netflix uh, Great American Smoke Off or oh, whatever yeah. it was. You the know, new season. Yeah, they had a an episode where you had to use beer. Okay, I don't know anything about beer, so they were talking about like I think this flavor will go really good, and I was just like I don't know anything. So I'm noticing our recipe says, "Hey, avoid dark or bitter beers." Yeah, like that. I wouldn't even think about that. I would just have to do a little research, but it makes sense. I yeah. think those dark beers have a really strong flavor. Yeah, but. they're <coughs> yeah, yeah, like a Guinness or um, Heineken. I think are darker beers. Yeah, from what I understand, are stronger or whatever. I've tried. I haven't tried different beers, but I've cooked with several different ones. Mm-hmm. <coughs> um. I really like Corona oh, to really? cook with. It's a uh, it is definitely on the light 
light color, not light as in light beer. Uh-huh. Um, and then I I love the way Bud Light or Budweiser smells. Hmm. So interesting. Those are the two that I typically cook with. I have only used beer to make brats. Mm. Love and beer brats. We did it. We did it on my mission. <laughs> we like checked out with a six pack. <laughs> we were anyway. It was probably it, the best it thing makes ever Haley ever. so uncomfortable. Yeah, because inevitably I'm like I'm looking to cook like something like this on a Sunday or a Saturday right. when I've got time. Uh-huh. And I'll run to the store at like ten o'clock when everybody is at the store, and she knows I'm going to see people. There was one That's time awesome. where literally all I had in my cart was a six pack of Corona, um, and I ran into a older lady mm. who knew us. Nice. And like she kept looking at it and looking at me and looking at it and looking, and I like just didn't even acknowledge it. I was just like. You're better than me. I would have totally see, played into it. <laughs> I was like, see you at church tomorrow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And I got home and I told Haley, and she was like, oh, my gosh. I was like. Oh, our poor wives. I was like, sorry, babe. Listen, our poor wives have decided to be bean, dip, bean dip friends. All right? They yes. are. They're in it. They're in it to win it. And not just. Not just the ones that like you can be around, but the ones that partake with you. Yeah, heck yeah, oh. heck yeah, yeah. So, if you haven't had a beer cheese dip, get after it. I love it. Send us a message if you're a beer drinker. Tell us what we should try because yeah. we clearly we'd know appreciate nothing. it. We know nothing, and we don't want to ruin it. I've got a I've got a couple of friends that anytime I've got to buy a, any type of alcohol, I'll like call them. I'll like be in the liquor store. Hey, so this is what I'm doing. Which one? That's a good idea. That's what I should do instead of like maybe it's on the internet. I've got a lot of friends. I should just ask them. No, I've got my I've got Buddy Carter that I call. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a <"Hey>, crutch. <laughs> what uh? What would you suggest? <laughs> this is what I'm cooking. It says I ne- says I need bourbon. What should I buy? <laughs> <laughs> what's bourbon and what's it look like? I at least know what it is. And <laughs> See, I wouldn't even know. I would I would just have to be like, I'll take your bourbon, please. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I call him for hard liquor. I call Debbie when I need to know what kind of wine I should buy. Hmm. Debbie sounds like she knows she knows all about the wine. Debbie does know all about the wine. Good work, Debra. So. Um, I was going to say, oh, one other thing. This is kind of off the subject of alcohol. Oh, that's um, probably a good thing. <laughs> but a couple years ago, I made some chili and we, and I've made that meat with that meat church chili seasoning. Mm. Doggone it, John. That's good stuff. It was kind of cold this week. Uh huh. And we actually, we had Frito pie for dinner tonight. Uh-huh. And all I could think was. Meat church chili is so much better. <laughs> chili, chili season is upon us. But one time, I was—I I think it was for the Super Bowl or something because I—I had a lot going on, mm-hmm. and I had some chili just in a Dutch oven in the corner of the smoker, and I kind of overcooked it, reduced it, and it was crazy thick. And I Ooh. can't help but think that would be a heck of a dip because that's kind of how we ate it because it was so thick. You just dip a chip in it. Oh my gosh, yeah. man. That could so be way good. good. It was like a one of those where you cook the chuck roast the night before and keep yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Gosh dang it. That was that was good. So that could be a pretty delicious dip, probably. Throw a little cheese on it and well, yeah, I mean, garnish it with bacon, obviously. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's the chili skillet queso that everybody ranted and raved over uh-huh. in the late nineties. Mm-hmm. That's a can of, it's a can of chili poured over Velveeta and melted. Mm-hmm. Like, so, yeah. yeah, I like the chili idea. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. into it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and do a recipe and see. I like it. I know our uh, our website is severely lacking in in recipe. blog posts. Oh, shoot, dude, that <clears throat> yeah, is. So, hmm. we uh, we need to get back on that. Fatguyswithsmokers dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. On that note. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Transition. <laughs> This has been another rousing episode. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of been a weird one. Did we yeah. hit record? Because we did hit record. This one might not be too bad to to do over once. Yeah. No, welcome. it's good. Yeah. Well, welcome. We're kind of just all over the place. Welcome to the inner workings of John and Mike's minds. <laughs> Until next time, uh, I'm John. I'm Mike. And uh, yeah, we're Fat Guys with Smokers. Thanks for listening to the Fat Guys with Smokers podcast. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe so you don't forget to tune in for even more nonsense from a couple of Fat Guys with Smokers. Don't forget to like, subscribe.